Welcome. In this video, I am going to be showing you some basic uh, Linux commands that can be used and should be known by every programmer. So let's start by the ls command. I hope everyone knows this, and if not, let's take a look at it. This ls command is basically going to list the, direct, the files you have in the directory. Some of the other commands, you know, are the cat command. It will spit out everything that is in that particular file. So if you do cat and a specific file name, you'll see the content of the, the data in that file. Um, let's um let's learn the next command that I'd like to share is the grep command. Grep is used to search um, some data within a file if you want. So let's see, I just showed you a file that has addresses for five people. So if I want to find someone who lives in New York, I can do grep New York, and then I can put in which file I want to grep for the keyword New York. So when it finds that, it will give me the entire line where it found the word New York. In. So this should give me one line of data back, so which is what I expected. The other command I'd like to show is sort. There is a function, uh, there's a command called sort in which you can specify uh, give it a file and then sort the file based on keys or columns that you use in. So my as a minus T indicates what how my data is uh, delimited. So I'm I'm saying that it's comma separated. And the next thing you want to say is by what key you want to sort. So in this scenario, say I want to sort by the first key. So the currently my data is like SC, Cruz, Billy, Zachary, and then Rosemary, but hopefully Zach will move to the last once I sort by the first um, the name in the first column. So let's try doing that. Um, let's sort this file. So as you can see, Zach is now in the last line, which it was not before. So this is how you do the sort. So we walk through a few commands. One additional command I'd like to show is alias. Alias is like um, so imagine right now if I do dir, it tells me there is no command called dir. So let's create a special command for dir. And let's say I want to create a command for dir. So I'm going to do alias dir is equal to let's say it's equal to ls. It's the same as ls. Okay. This is something we are making based on how we want to add a new command and how we want it to act. So now let's try dir again. Hopefully it recognized and it knows what dir means. Basically it's an alias for the ls command. Um, and also there is the vi editor. Let me quickly show you how to use the vi editor. The VI editor, you can say VI and then you can use an address that you see. For example, you can open the file, you can edit anything you want. For example, I want um, to change SE to Lessy. I can do that. And then how do I quit the VI editor? So the, key, the magic of it, uh, quitting the VI editor is you hit the escape key to get out and get into a special mode. And then you put the colon. And then you say W Q. Okay, so W stands for right, Q means quit. So I, I made an edit and then I escape out of it and then I go into the special mode and I type colon W Q and then I quit. So now if I try cat try to cat my same file, I'll see I see that instead of S E I have let which is a change I made. The other additional command very useful is the script command. In in you have you can capture everything you do as a script and save it. So if you intend to save any of your commands, you can start a script. Now there's two ways of starting a script. You can just say script or you can say script and then the file name that I want to say. So let's say my script.txt is where I want to start scripting and save everything. So saying script started, output file is so and so. Let's cat, cat this. Now let's say I want to exit out of my script. I just say exit. So if I ls now, I should have an additional file called my script.txt. And if I want to see what is in my script, basically it should have captured my the point at which I did the cat and uh, it should have 
that data in there. So as you can see, um, it's captured everything that I asked it to capture. So this is a good way for us to capture data, capture commands, and to save them for later reviewing it or for submissions or passing along to others. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. One last uh, very cool command is the ps command, which is the prompt string. So as you can see, I've customized my prompt string as um, prompt to say what's next. So I can uh, string uh, the prompt string can be changed to anything else. Let's say I want to say prompt string um, prompt yeah, string is equal to let's say I want to say next command instead of what's next, right? And I can hit enter. So now, as you can see, my the prompt string has become next command instead of what's next. So this is a very cool command. You can do a lot of additional things with this. Um, I hope you found this video helpful.